Hello everyone, this is Mr. Masonette. With this tutorial, we're going to use the concept of percentage to compare two different fractions, each containing a different denominator. Now the word percent literally means out of every 100. The word per means each, and the word cent means 100. So we can change any fraction that we wish into a fraction which is out of 100, or out of each 100. For example, Let's take the fraction 4 elevenths and compare that to 2 fifths. Now one of the fraction has an 11 as a denominator and the other one is a 5, which means the units of measurement are completely different. But by changing each one into a percentage, that changes them to a denominator of 100, allowing us to compare the two different fractions with no problem. But first, we need to change each one into a percent before we can do our comparison. Although there are other ways to compare two fractions, we are going to change each one into a percentage with this example just for the sake of practicing percentages. So let's take 4 out of 11 first. When changing any fraction into a percentage by using division, you must put the numerator under the division sign and the denominator on the outside of the division sign. The next step is to simply put a decimal underneath the hat at the end and one straight on top of that. And after that decimal underneath the hat, we place a zero. This is a method that I like to call DDO, or decimal decimal zero. Because 11 could not be divided into 4, we had to put a zero in the place of the tens, allowing us to do our division. So let's get started. 11 can be divided into 43 times, and 3 times 11 is 33. 40 minus 33 is 7. Because we have a remainder, we must add another zero in the next place value and drop it down and that gives us 71 hundredths, but we're just going to pretend it's 70. 11 goes into 70 six times, and 6 times 11 is 66. The difference of 70 and 66 is 4, and because we still have a remainder, we must add another 0 in the next place value, which is in the thousandths place. After dropping that 0 down, we have the value of 40. 11 can be divided into 43 times, and 3 times 11 yields a product of 33 which leaves us with seven one thousandths. Now at this point, I always stop when I'm in the thousandths place because I like to round my percents to the nearest percentage. And a percent is out of 100 and the thousandths place will just allow us to round to the nearest percentage. Now after you are finished dividing to that point if you still have a remainder, simply move your decimal two spaces to the right. Notice in front of the decimal we have 36 which means our answer that we're going to round it to is either going to be a 36 or 37 percent. We round up when the next place value is 5 or larger, but because we have 0.3 and that value is less than 5, we're going to keep our value at 36. So we're going to say that 4 elevenths as a percentage is approximately equal to 36 percent. Now let's change 2 fifths into a percentage as well. But this time, we are not going to use division to convert this fraction into a percentage. Whenever the bottom number is a factor of 100, we can simply change that denominator into the number 100 by writing an equivalent fraction. 5 can be divided into 120 times, or 5 times 20 is 100. Because it would take a factor of 20 to increase 5 to 100, to write an equivalent fraction, we are also going to increase the numerator by a factor of 20 as well. 2 times 20 is 40, so we would say 40 out of 100 is equivalent to 2 out of 5. And because our denominator is out of 100, it is the same thing as a percentage. So to write 40 out of 100 as a percentage, we would just say it is equal to 40%. Now we can clearly see that 2 fifths is a larger fraction than 4 elevenths because 2 fifths is equal to 40% and 4 elevenths is approximately equal to 36%.